Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is HD StarCraft. I'm here for game number two from the MSI Tournament Semi-Final A featuring Golden Light and MVP Tails. Golden Light is going to be the Yellow Zerg. At the 12 o'clock position, the map is Metalopolis, wishing good luck, have fun to his opponent. And down to the bottom at the 6 o'clock, just a, shad, a, a tad darker hue of yellow. That's orange, and that's going to be MVP Tails at the 6 o'clock position. And rewatching that game, uh, you know, everything kind of makes sense. And I was, I was confused at first as to why the Nexus was canceled at the 3 o'clock position, or at the uh, 6 o'clock position. But uh, watching that, it, it actually kind of really seemed like the Protoss player, Tails, was just going for an all-in. Uh, if you guys recall the Overlord scouting into his base, it just saw the three gateways in the Twilight Council, and the Zerg, upon seeing that, okay, he knows the Blink is coming, but it's likely that the Protoss will expand after that as well. And so that's why he sent the Roaches down to the 6 o'clock location. He saw the Nexus, and then he, he started to pull away and remember his Roaches got force-fielded and killed off. But after all that happened, what Tails did was said, screw it, I'm going to kill off my Nexus, I'm going to cancel it, I'm going to go for an all-in. Remember, there were three other gateways that, are, that were still hidden away at the bottom of the main, and the Overlord never saw that. So it was like a seven gate, I believe plus two weapons, Blink Stalker timing push, uh, into an all-in because he, of course, canceled the third Nexus, and it worked. So now it's 1-0 in favor of the Protoss, and, you know, remember I said at the beginning of the set I would have to give the edge to Golden. Uh, well, now the, that uh, momentum has kind of swung in favor of the all-in player, Tails, we'll just have to see what happens. I mean, winning the first game really does set you up. It springs you for the rest of the set. All you have to do now, win two more, and you are set home. You're gravy to go. And we'll see what happens. This map, a little bit easier, I think, for Protoss to, to, to get the expansion down. It, it's still very hard because it's so wide open, uh, but you can still do that trick that Protoss do, which is forge gateway to the Nexus, cannon behind that wall, and then get some sentries behind here in the mineral fields and get a pylon down in the back, and you can pretty much hold off most types of Zerg attacks. But keep your eyes peeled. We still might see Tails go for some type of two base all in, some type of aggression or play, because a lot of Protosses now don't want to get into the end game with Zerg. I mean, I think most people would agree that Zerg late game right now is extremely good. Remember, guys, in the last tournament, Don Ringu just won the grand finals of MLG, and uh, Zerg right now is just living the go the good life, really. Uh, we the, the Zerg is really, really looking good. Their late game is pretty much unmatched, unrivaled. It's very hard to take them down, um, and we'll just have to see what Tails does here. Will he go for another all-in? It looks like that probe was killed off. We didn't see any cannon shenanigans or canonigans, and uh, it looks like now it's going to uh, kind of just settle back down. Uh, into a macro game, at least for as far as I can see. Uh, one, two gases up inside the main right now. Cybernetic score finally coming in. That Overlord is going to be able to park there for some time just to get that scouting intel. Uh, and, and there's really no threat until the Cyber Core is finished. Once that Cyber Core is finished, that's when you'll start to see stalkers or sentries come out and the Overlord will have to reposition itself. And for now, it's just getting a lot of good intel intelligence, as are these two Zerglings tucked right underneath the gas. Third hatchery actually gets canceled over at the top. Uh, he might have, I don't I don't think he positioned that wrongly, but maybe he threw it down and then said, well, let me just make sure that it is perfectly placed, and then he replaced it. So uh, lost a little bit of money there, but nothing too serious as, uh, as Golden Light's just kind of droning up behind this. And, you know, as to be expected, most Zergs, I think 99% of Zergs out there on this map, given cross spawn, will take the third hatchery right away. Uh, against an expanding Protoss player, and that's what you expect to see. Tails, though, is making his way up to the north, west, and uh, <laughs> I had to check my compass there, make sure I said the right direction. Probe is going to come up here, and uh, we'll see if the needle's pointing correctly. It is, and there's a hatchery there, so that information is going to be relayed back home for Tails, and he's going to try to be extra greedy to get in here. No, he will not. He's going to cut out at the last second and try to get that probe home safely. Stalker here trying to control the Zelnaga tower will be able to pick off that Zergling and gets all additional information by tagging the tower momentarily. But for now, the real question is what is Tails going to do? He's saved up a lot of gas. It's now at 300 gas uh, that he saved up. He's pumped some of it into plus one weapons, but here we go. Three gateways coming up. Twilight Council perhaps? No. He decides not to get the Twilight Council at the last second. And no, yes, he is. He's going to go ahead and tuck that in to the area where it's least likely to be scouted. So he's going for the exact same build that we saw last game, 
minus the three extra gateways. Last game, he threw down three extra gateways, remember, and he hit it in his base, and he went for that seven gate plus two weapons timing uh, all in, actually. So we'll see if he does that this time. He might go for an expansion again. Golden Light, if he's, you know, dotting his I's, crossing his T's, he should scout, scout over to the third area, make sure there's a Nexus coming up, but this time maybe do something extra to confirm that the Nexus doesn't get canceled because that's what cost him the first game. He got all in when he thought it was safe to drone up, when he thought it was safe to go ahead and macro behind the scouting information. There are three more gateways coming up, and uh, it looks like we're going to have the same ploy coming from MVP Tails, and there is plus two weapons coming for the Protoss players. Cybernetics Core has now finished the warp gate research that is just extra on top surplus chrono boost energy, and now we're going to have a bunch of units being warped out for Tails, who will probably time this, guys, with plus two finishing and that will finish within the minute or so if he drops chrono boost efficiently on that forge and this is going to be such a big play once again will golden light fall for it uh, a second time in a row this time you know he he doesn't have the scouting intel he needs the overlord is coming in here but it's going to get picked up by the three stalkers warping in at the edge of the map so really this overlord doesn't get the information it needs it gets four gateways, and that is it. So I don't think that's going to be enough. He did send a Zergling over to the right-hand side of the map, and he didn't see a Nexus. So that in itself might tell him that, hey, something might be coming. Uh, regardless, if I was Zerg right now, I'd, be, I'd just be pumping Roaches and Zerglings just to make sure. You never know when that Protoss will come at you with such a large army. And really, the element of surprise here is on Tails. Will he take advantage of it? He's starting to mobilize across the map. No probes in this army, though. Uh, but that Zergling... There it is. There's a probe. There, that Zergling did see the move out of forces. So now, if Golden was worried at all before, he should be worried now. He should be prepping all of his larva for more units. And as I said before, there is a probe in this army, so he will be able to bring out a pylon, and that helps reinforce so quickly, but there are some Zerglings making their way for a counterattack. This is one thing that Zergs can do, just try to buy some time, send some Zerglings over to the enemy side. He's gonna try to pick off the pylon, which is a great play. If he can get it, he gets the probe, so that's absolutely huge, and now, Tails only has one close pylon to warp in units from. And if he loses his pylon, he has to bring another probe out, but it looks like he carefully defends that and does not allow it to fall. And that is so big. Meanwhile, Spinecrawler is being warped or being uh, plopped down at the third hatchery. Will Golden Light have enough to defend against this? The pylon being worked down by Zerglings down south, and the pylon is saved. So now I think Golden is in a lot of trouble. He sent so much resources to try to take out the pylon, but it was not successful. And Tails is knocking on the front door. Knock Doc, who's there? It's Tails, and I think he's gonna be able to take out Golden two games in a row. Golden has no answer for this. He's almost got Burrow though, which might help a little bit if he can Burrow Micro his Roaches. There is no Observer, keep in mind, but it's a shot in the dark. It's gonna be so hard for him to hold this off. He's brought drones off the line as well. The Roaches have now burrowed underground to regenerate HP that has been lost in the fight. But uh, it is really looking bleak for him. An extremely grim prospect right now. As units will continue to warp in from that pylon. And the hatchery will most likely have to be abandoned here. But Golden Light might just take the GG rather than surrender the hatchery. He's sending all of his units in here to their death sentence. Roach is burrowing once again. And the GG has been called. So Protoss MVP Tails wins two games in a row. And that means we're going to go on to game three. This is a best of five. And if Tails wins the next one, unbelievably, he will take a 3-0 into the grand finals. This is MSI's StarCraft II tournament. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And this is HD StarCraft signing out.